Hello there, this is Ferret, BinaryOptions.com and under our Binary Options Academy projects we are moving on with one that is really dear to me, I'm talking about Elliot Waves and under the Elliot Waves principle I would like to discuss here something that is really important in understanding how to trade the Binary Option and in understanding how uh, how a move uh, really is. It is a corrective one or it is an impulsive one. And for example, if you're looking for a move that starts from or for the move that starts from here all the way to here, the very first question that one needs to ask if is according to Elliot is if this move or is this move an impulsive move or a corrective wave. If it is an impulsive move, then it should be interpreted as we should respect all the rules of an impulsive move. If not, it, it means it's a corrective way. It is important because the nature of this move will give you the nature of this move in here. And based on the fact if it is impulsive or corrective, you know what kind of a retracement should come, you know what kind of a co uh, correction should come, if it is a simple one, if it is a complex one. So uh, knowing this is extremely, extremely important. Let me put, let me write correctly here the Elliot. Elliot waves. Now, I'm talking about impulsive moves. Impulsive moves or waves, and the concept that we are going to discuss today is channeling. Channeling with impulsive. Moves. Well, it goes without saying, or the rule of thumb, or the name of the game, or whatever you want to put it. An impulsive move is not channeling. As simple as that. An impulsive move. Let me put it in here. Is not channeling. Well, if an impulsive move is not channeling, then we gotta look at, uh, at what an impulsive move is looking like. Let's assume that we have a five-way structure. Let's say this is the first wave to the upside, and then we have a second wave, we have the third wave all the way to here, we have a fourth wave, and then we go with the fifth wave, something like, something like this. Well, let's label it. This will be the first wave, and first wave in a classical impulsive move or in an impulsive move is always an impulsive move on its own, of a lower degree. Then we go with the second wave. Then we go with the third wave. Then we go with the fourth wave. And then with the fifth wave all the way here, so one, two, three, four, five. This is being called an impulsive move. What does it mean that an impulsive move is not channeling? The thing to do is to go and take a trend line from the beginning of the move until the end of the second wave. Now, careful here, because this trend line here needs to be attention, needs to be a trend line that connects the end of the second wave. So you gotta know the end of the second wave where it is. It, does, it is not mandatory for the end of the second wave to be um, at the lower part of the second wave. It may be that the second wave ends with a triangle and then it will be a bit high. The next thing to do is to go and take this trend line, copy it and paste it on top of the end of the first wave. An impulsive move is not channeling. In other words, the fifth wave should end nowhere nowhere around this. If you have a move something like this, something like this, that is no impulsive move. Make no mistake. If it's not, it is not an impulsive move, then it must be a corrective way, because you don't have like 100 choices when it comes to Elliott waves. A move that is not, an impulsive move that is not channeling, needs to look exactly like this. Why is this important? Well, it is important because if you have an impulsive move, a five-way structure that respects all the rules, then we know that it needs to be followed by a three ways correction A and B and C. Most of the times the B wave fades into the upper side of the channel that we already created and there is a great opportunity to go and trade put options if the impulsive move is bullish 
or call options if the impulsive move is bearish. Stay tuned for the second part in order to uh, show you a classical example of an impulsive move with real prices.